Welcome to setting up and calibrating your 3D printer. First, unpack the printer and make sure to remove all of the packing material within the unit. There is quite a bit. Next, open up the filament spool and place it onto the filament holder on the left side of the unit. Please ensure that the wheel will turn counterclockwise. Insert the filament into the loader and push the release arm in order to feed the filament up through the top of the machine. Attach the feeder tube to the extruder and then feed it through the top of the printer and attach the feeder tube on the left side. Be sure that the filament is inside that tube. Insert the SD card into the slot at the base of the printer. The printer cannot run without this card. Pull the printer bed toward you and place the bed tape on the tray. This tape can be used over and over until the tape begins to rip or comes off. Plug in the unit and turn it on. You need to load the filament and calibrate the bed. Using the arrows, click on Utilities, then click Change Spool. Click on Load Filament. The extruder will start to heat up, move around, and you will hear many sounds and clicks. When it is just about finished, you should see the filament come out of the extruder. If not, something must have gone wrong and you will have to try again. If you do see filament coming out, push OK and then push the home button. Now it's time to calibrate the bed. From utilities, select the Z offset. This one can be a little bit tricky because you have to do some guessing. If your Z offset is around 1.10, try 1.35 or 1.40. If your Z offset is 2.0, try 1.80 or 1.75. You will have to do some test printing to determine your calibration. On this unit, let's try 1.45. After the Z offset, you will need to set the home access. Click Home Access, select Yes, and let the unit calibrate. Once it is finished, it is time to do a test print. From the main menu, select Build from Card and select Sample. The extruder will begin to heat up and the printer will begin to move. Please watch carefully to look for issues that might occur with the calibration. Uh-oh, look closely. The filament is not adhering to the bed. This is happening because the Z offset is too high. Go back to Utilities, lower the Z offset. You will have to set the home access again as well. Once you get the offset correct, the filament will adhere to the bed and it should be easily removed with your hand. Questions regarding the printer? You can contact one of the specialists from Innovative Learning to assist you. Thank you for watching and happy printing.